right now at noon, it is former President Trump's big night as he prepares to formally accept the Republican presidential nomination in his first speech since an attempted assassination. Plus, President Biden is in isolation following a COVID diagnosis. How his re-election campaign moves forward as a growing number of Democrats call on him to step aside. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Josh Spreider. The Republican National Convention wraps up later tonight with former President Trump taking the stage for his big speech. This week has been about Republicans coming together and the party's 2024 presidential nominee is also expected to project unity in his speech. Well, I think you may see a bit of a different version of Donald Trump tonight, perhaps a bit softer version than, than maybe some of the people at home have seen in the past. And maybe that allows them to open themselves up to actually what he's saying. Trump says he rewrote the speech following the attempt on his life at a campaign rally last Saturday. The former president and his new running mate will hold their first joint campaign appearance this weekend at a rally in the battleground state of Michigan. Last night, it was the new vice presidential nominee, J.D. Vance, who revved up the audience during his speech. Our live team coverage continues now with Chris Stanford and Kyrie on Lee this afternoon. Hi, guys. Hi there, Josh. Yeah, earlier this morning, the Ohio senator uh, met with a group at the Faith and Freedom Breakfast. He assured them that the Trump fans ticket has their back as long as he has any influence in the party. Vance officially accepted the vice presidential nomination last night and introduced himself to the country with a speech highlighting his working class roots. To the people of Middletown, Ohio, and all the forgotten communities in Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Ohio, and every corner of our nation, I promise you this, I will be a vice president who never forgets where he came from. Vance also attacked Joe Biden and Democratic policies, making it clear that although he was once a harsh Trump critic, he's now all in. The delegates on hand came away excited about their new VP nominee. Now, shortly after Vance's speech, the communications director for the Biden campaign called Vance unprepared, unqualified, and willing to do anything Donald Trump demands. You know, it's been a, a, a quite an eventful four days here yes. at the RNC Kyrie. Yes, they went really hard at the beginning, came off the first day with the appearance of former President Trump, mm -hmm. also with the announcement of the nomination for vice president. Right. Um, they kind of like to describe this as a crescendo up to the final moments of the convention, which will happen uh, tonight yes. when Trump formally accepts the nomination as the Republican candidate for president. And then we'll get to see all those balloons drop from the ceiling of Pfizer form. Well, that is it for us. Uh, it's been quite an eventful week here at the RNC. Thank you so much for following along. Josh, will send it back to you. Chris Stanford, Kyrie Ann Lee continuing our team coverage. Come on home, guys, and you guys deserve a day off tomorrow. We will be in Milwaukee for the rest of the Republican National Convention as our evening crews are there. Starting at 8.30 tonight, we'll be streaming extended coverage with special guests and interviews. That stream will head in to CBS national coverage of the convention. You can watch on channel3000.com or our mobile app. Right now, President Biden is isolated at home in Delaware after being diagnosed with COVID. This now interrupts the president's swing through battleground Nevada and is yet more bad news for his reelection campaign. Doctors say his symptoms are mild and he is taking Paxlovid. The president is feeling fine. He's continuing to make calls and do work. He has some official meetings today, uh, a lot of campaign calls that he's getting through. The White House has firmly insisted the president is in it to win it, but with just over 100 days to go, calls for him to step aside seem to be growing. Top Democrat leaders say in Congress they've met privately with the president in his run-up to the Nevada trip, including Congressman Hakeem Jeffries, who expressed, quote, the full breadth of insight about the path forward. The campaign says it is moving forward in this, quote, margin of error race. After their most high-profile security breach in decades, the Secret Service, along with the FBI, briefed lawmakers on 20-year-old shooter Thomas Matthew Crooks. A source directly familiar with the briefing tells CBS News Crooks used his phone to search for images of former President Trump and President Biden online. Crooks also searched the names of FBI Director Christopher Wray and Attorney General Merrick Garland and looked up the symptoms of depressive disorder. He visited the site of the attack at least once before the rally. Investigators have yet to discover a motive. Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle will testify at a House committee meeting on Monday. 
Well, our calm and quiet weather continues on this Thursday afternoon. First War Meteorologist Kelly Slipka is enjoying a nice afternoon outside. Hi, Kelly. Yeah, it is uh, kind of a unusually quiet uh, compared to what we've seen all uh, season long and also rather cool for this time of July. Typically, we're talking about some of the high heat we see this time of July, but we're not getting that this week. In fact, right now, looking at our Edgewater Sky Cam, some of these cumulus clouds, that's kind of reminiscent of what we're dealing with. We've got some cool air aloft. The sun heats the ground, sun still rolls strong, and that air lifts and creates some of these cumulus clouds, and that's what we're dealing with today. Not as much wind as what we had yesterday, and very low humidity. The uh, dew point temperatures have been in the mid-50s, so very comfortable out there. Uh, last week, we were, had dew points in the uh, 70s, so quite a bit more comfortable. But we are seeing some of these cumulus clouds that pop up with the heating of the afternoon. We'll deal with that uh, throughout the day. All right, uh, as mentioned, our dew points are in the uh, 50s. Uh, looking at the winds that are be coming in out of the uh, north. Right now, we should see the winds a lot lighter than they were yesterday. They were, yesterday, we had some wind gusts over 25 miles per hour. Today, they'll be a lot lighter because high pressure basically building overhead. And we're seeing some sun today. We'll see more sun again tomorrow and dry Saturday. And I think most of Sunday will be dry. I can't rule out some scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms. And we're on and off chances next week. Nothing real organized, but we will see some uh, wet weather return going into next week. It's only 70 right now in Madison, 71 currently in Middleton. So a refreshingly cool day, kind of unusual for this time of July, but we'll take it, giving our AC a break. Temperatures in the uh, mid 70s today with winds lighter than yesterday, generally about five miles far. Talk more about those rain chances going into next week and when we can expect some heat building back in coming up. All right, Kelly, thank you. Right now, a verdict is in for the trial of the former Madison pastor, Bob Stein, accused of sexually assaulting children. Stein pleaded not guilty to two felony charges of first-degree sexual assault of a child. Last night, a jury spent four hours considering the evidence and found him not guilty. The case referring to separate incidents in 2019 when Stein was serving as a pastor and running an after-school child care and summer camp out of Midville Baptist Church. It was during that time a young girl says Stein assaulted her. During the trial, Stein took the stand saying he was only vaguely familiar with the victim and that her testimony wasn't logical. It was only when she says there was a second teacher that then she was alone with me. If I'm the only teacher, I am never alone with children, especially for a length of time. The prosecution argues the girl's claims were consistent. Her family, church members, and a detective familiar with the case all testified on her behalf. But the defense's argument that the girl's claims were vague and blurry ultimately won over the jurors. Well, still ahead for us on a Thursday afternoon, another iconic Las Vegas resort closing its doors for good. Plus, why 7,000 pounds of hot dogs are now being recalled. Need appliances? Black Friday deals are here at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save up to 60% off on one-of-a-kind and floor sample items. And get up to $3,000 in rebates. The guaranteed lowest prices and special financing for five years. At Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley. At Precision, we want to be a trusted advisor. Anybody that knows me here knows that I'm always focused on the customer first. I want to make sure that, that, that we don't have to worry about this door, you know, next year, the year after that. Here at Precision, we're here for you. Precision door service, a name you can trust. It's the Hy-Vee BOGO Sale, this Friday through Sunday. Buy one, get one free. Get BOGOs, BOGOs, and more BOGOs. Buy one, get one free, including on our award-winning Hy-Vee Chinese. Get BOGOs on more than 100 items store-wide. And when you buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free. And buy one, get one free. Don't miss the Hy-Vee BOGO Sale, this Friday through Sunday, only at Hy-Vee. They produced Yacht Rock hits that defined an era. It's Ambrosia. Performing live October 12th at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells. With special guest John Ford Coley. Tickets are on sale now through Ticketmaster. Soft Rock that rocked the yacht. Ambrosia, John Ford Coley, October 12th at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells. My husband and I finally agreed that we need a new bathtub and shower. So he went right to work on handling the project. That's him going online researching bathtub and shower installers. And there he is, calling a few places to get an estimate. 
think he's procrastinating. Call 1-800-HANSONS for a new shower or bathtub you'll love. Installed in as little as one day. It's okay. I called 1-800-HANSONS. We custom fit your new bathtub or shower into your existing space for a fast, convenient, and hassle-free installation with any safety features your family needs. Safety bars, seats, and more with a no-leak guarantee. Oh, hey, I'm going to call 1-800-HANSONS. That's great, hon. Get 50% off installation or no interest and no payments for one year. Offer ends soon. Call 1-800-HANSONS. Get it done. Need a better night's sleep? Black Friday deals are here at Ashley. Get up to a $300 MasterCard Rewards card with select mattress, foundation, or adjustable base purchases and special financing for 60 months. Only at Ashley. Nearly 7,000 pounds of hot dogs have been recalled because they were not inspected by federal regulators, according to the USDA. The hot dogs were processed at Kentucky-based AW Farms and shipped to restaurants in Ohio and West Virginia. The company says the recalled products should be thrown away or returned to the place of purchase. Darden Restaurants, which owns Olive Garden, Longhorn Steakhouse, and other chains, is acquiring Chewy's in a deal worth $605 million. The Austin-based Tex-Mex restaurant chain currently operates more than 100 locations in 15 states. And another iconic Las Vegas resort has closed its doors for good. Yesterday, the Mirage's landmark volcano erupted for the very last time. The tropical-themed hotel casino opened its doors back in 1989 and was once home to Siegfried and Roy's Tiger Show. Hard Rock International and Seminole Gaming will renovate the property into a Hard Rock hotel and casino that's set to open in 2027. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Chanel Call. At the noon hour, here's your stock report. We're in the red on a Thursday. The Dow down 267, NASDAQ down 101, and the S&P 500 down 32 points. We have today's egg prices straight ahead, along with the first warm forecast. Then later today on Live at 4, Susan and Brady continue our live coverage from the Republican National Convention. What to expect from the former president's speech to the delegates. The all-new Tempur-Pedic Adapt mattresses are here at Steinhoffel's. Expertly engineered with the most advanced pressure-relieving material to make aches and pains a thing of the past. Get the new Temper Adapt for only $52 per month when you use Steinhoffel's 60-month financing. Plus, you'll get $300 in Steinhoffel's cash. There's nothing like a great night's sleep on a new Tempur-Pedic from Steinhoffel's. Start sleeping better tonight. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffel's.com. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. This summer, feel confident from head to toe with Sonobello Permanent Fat Removal and get summer body ready in just one visit. I saw the results immediately. It's the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. My waist is tiny. <laughs> I'm very, very happy. I'm nearly 50, y'all, and my abs haven't been this flat since before I had kids. For a limited time, take advantage of Sonobello's biggest sale of the year. Sono Bellows board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells for good on your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. It will change your life. It did for me. I can't wait till the summertime hit. Hot mom summer, here I come. Call 1-800-905-6520 now or go to sonobello.com to claim special pricing. Get an 11% rebate on all Dutch Boy paints. Now at Menards. Dutch Boy's Forever Exterior Paint and Primer in One provides exceptional fade resistance to ensure beautiful, lasting color. A gallon starts at $37.99 after rebate. Maximize your curb appeal with Max Bond Plus Exterior Paint. It provides advanced adhesion, hide, and performance in over 801 coat colors. It's designed to work for you. Get a gallon starting at $47.87 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. 
the Jennifer Hudson Show. From the hit series, Not Dead Yet, it's Gina Rodriguez. You are something special. Plus, I'm in the kitchen with the help of Carla Hall. Child, being on this show is the most sudden thing. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. News 3 Now This Morning is live all week long from the Republican National Convention. Get a recap of the previous day's events at the RNC. We'll provide a unique local perspective, including interviews and analysis. Join us on the next News 3 Now This Morning. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Pam Yaki from the Midwest Farm Report is out for the week, so here are your farm numbers. Comfortable are your weather words. First war meteorologist Kelly Slifka is out on the weather patio. Hi, Kelly. Yeah, kind of unusual to actually feel kind of cool out here on the patio now that the uh, cloud has moved overhead. Uh, but yeah, that's what we got the uh, next couple of days. We're going to gradually get a little bit closer to average as far as our temperatures are concerned. But we have high pressure came down from Canada, brought the cool air with it. That wind that we had yesterday that was coming out of the north, we had some gusts over 25 miles per hour. That wind has shifted onto the east and high pressure is a little bit closer overhead. So that's calmed those winds down a little bit. But uh, also seeing some of these cumulus clouds pop up. We had a cool morning this morning. We got down to 54 here in Madison, expecting a low by tomorrow morning of 56, 59 on Saturday morning. We'll gradually get closer to average by Sunday morning into early next week. But nothing drastic. We don't have a whole lot of humidity coming our way anytime soon. So with temperatures today headed into the mid 70s, kind of like yesterday, we do have some of these cumulus clouds that have popped up with the heating of the afternoon. Uh, those will continue throughout the afternoon, at least partly sunny skies. Gradually, these temperatures will drop pretty quickly this evening. If you're out after dark, once again, kind of like last night, might need a sweatshirt or at least a light jacket. We are looking at some sunshine today and also again tomorrow into Saturday. And it looks like it will be dry right through Saturday. Sunday can't rule out some scattered showers and thunderstorms developing later in the day, not expecting widespread rains. That'll be the trend into much of next week. When I show you the 10 day forecasting, like, boy, we're gonna get rain all next week. Once again, these are scattered activity. The chances are fairly low, relatively speaking. Our future track today, looking at temperatures in the mid 70s with partly to mostly sunny skies. We'll have clear skies tonight. Here by 10 o'clock or so, we should be in the mid 60s already. So it will drop pretty quickly. And kind of like this morning, we'll drop down into the mid 50s most areas. We had some temperatures up there in Black River Falls and Camp Douglas this morning that actually got into the 40s. Tomorrow, we will be a few degrees warmer, looking at upper 70s uh, going into tomorrow afternoon. So we have this dip of the jet stream, allowing that cooler air to come in and out of Canada. All the heat remains suppressed out west and really kind of an unusual weather pattern setting up as we go through next week. Now, Saturday, we're going to start to see our temperatures creep up a little bit as that coolest of air starts to slide on to the north and east. But all the heat is going to remain out west. We'll be a little bit closer to average, but as we go into uh, the weekend into early next week, next week, though, we will have some uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms returning. Very unusual to see these cooler than average temperatures across the southern plains this time of July. Typically, some of the hottest temperatures of the year flirting with 100, but that will not be the case. All that heat is actually going to be out west and kind of curving northward into the northern plains, the northern Mississippi Valley, even into the Great Lakes states. So things are kind of flip flop. And the reason why it's going to be so cool down south is some of the rain that's going to keep those temperatures down. And we'll get into a little bit of a wetter pattern going into next week. Hopefully nothing like we've seen uh, so far throughout June and the first half of July. 70 right now in Madison, 72 in Janesville and across Dane County. Everybody uh, flirting with 70, 71 right now in Cottage Grove and also Sun Prairie. First warm forecast, 76 today, down to 56 tonight, 70 or 76 uh, for tomorrow, uh, 79 on Friday. 
Uh, Saturday, we should be up to 80, 81 on Sunday. That'll bring in some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Noticing those chances aren't real great, only about 30%. So these would be widely scattered showers and storms. Temperatures pretty even. Steven next week, very close to average right in the lower 80s. Well, we'll enjoy the calm and comfortable while we can then. Yeah, the next few days look to be pretty nice. All right, Kelly, thank you. Mm -hmm. Howard's in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen with a secret ingredient in his blueberry pancakes. If you love light and fluffy pancakes studded with fresh blueberries, then you're in luck. July is National Blueberry Month, and there's no better time than right now to make them. That means these purplish blueberries are in abundance right now and at some of the lowest prices of the year. So let me share with you an amped up version of blueberry pancakes that I know you're going to love. We start by mixing together some self-rising flour with a bit of sugar and salt. We make a well in the center of this and set it aside. Next, we beat together a package of cream cheese, that's our secret ingredient, along with a couple of eggs. Once it's smooth, we mix in some milk, melted butter, and a splash of vanilla. This gets poured into the well of our dry ingredients and we mix it. All that's left to do is fold in our blueberries and it's ready to spoon onto a hot griddle. After a few minutes on each side, these babies are ready to slather with butter and syrup. What makes these so good, besides the fact that they're bursting with blueberries, is the richness we get from the cream cheese. To get the recipe for our blueberry cream cheese pancakes, all you have to do is visit our website. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a... blueberry licious way. For you to <laughs> say, ooh, it's so good. Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. Left me some? When we come back at noon, we're going to meet our pet of the week from the Dane County Humane Society. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Sup? You need some windows? Hey folks, you call the experts? Right now with Felco, get free installation and no interest for five years. Call now. Call 866 for Felco. After long-standing efforts from Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin, three of the four biggest pharmaceutical companies say they're going to start capping the prices of their inhalers. They used to charge families like ours $600 a month for an inhaler, even though they cost less than five bucks to make. So Tammy Baldwin fought the drug companies and she won. Now Hadley's inhaler costs $35 and we're breathing easier. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. I don't work for the drug companies. I work for you. It's time for the grooviest event of the summer. You'll be feeling good at the Wisconsin State Fair, presented by U.S. Cellular, August 1st through the 11th. Watch this. It's all 100% real. Witness what happens to this woman's bags under her eyes in an actual time lapse in just minutes. Nothing has been doctored or tampered with. The very real problem will disappear before your eyes and hers with a revolutionary topical formulation that works in just minutes and the effects will last for hours and hours. Over 1 million people are using this topical technique to visually reduce puffiness and bags. It works on sagging jowls, even fine lines and wrinkles on the face and forehead. Introducing Plexiderm. In just minutes, you can restore and beautify your face, even look years younger. And the look will last all day or all evening. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I'm just in love with the mirror right now. Jump on board and say yes to this amazing $14.95 Prove It Plexiderm trial. You'll see why our customers describe Plexiderm with three words. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Order right now. We'll pay your shipping. Operators are standing by. If you're about to replace your roof, stop. There's a solution about 80% less expensive. Nine out of 10 roofs can be saved by RoofMax. Guaranteed to extend the life of your current roof by five to 15 years at a fraction of the cost of a new roof. RoofMax's deep penetrating power restores flexibility and water protection. Nobody wants to replace their roof. Restore it instead with RoofMax for 80% less. Call now for a free roof inspection. 
It is time for Potentially Yours today at noon. Lisa Bernard from the Dane County Humane Society is here with a special guest and making himself right here at home at Channel 3. So he is so at home. This this <laughs> could be how he's going to be at your home when you adopt him. This he's is just amazing. just going to relax. So who is this? This is Rocky. Rocky. Rocky is eight years old. Wow, okay. Yep. So he came to us recently, uh, and he's looking for a new home. He knows sit, he knows shake, and obviously he loves <laughs> belly rubs. So he's very friendly. He has lived with other dogs and cats before. Wow, okay. Uh, so I don't know what he what sees. What are you looking at, buddy? Oh, he's reading your oh, teleprompter. Oh, look at that, the teleprompter up wow, there. Wow, aren't you smart? And probably sees himself up on the screen as well. So, so a little bit different. You've been having a lot of puppies here. And we, so we have an adult dog this time. Yep. We still have puppies at the shelter who are looking for new homes. Uh, but I thought, why not bring a little older guy? Because they need love, too. And they're established, too, at this age. Exactly. You know, So you don't have to do as much training. And like you mentioned, he knows a lot of the tricks and yep. tips already. So. Yep. Rocky, you want to show off? Come here. <laughs> Come here. Oh, good boy, sit. Oh, that's oh, so good. Go. And of course, likes the treats. Shake, of course. As we all do. Can you can you shake for Josh? Shake. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> I love it. You get a double. So, what kind of home do you think would be good for Rocky? I think any type of home. I mean, he the last home he didn't live with children, but they exposed him to children and he did great with them so I think any type of home is going to be great uh, one that's going to enjoy taking him for walks because he does love going for walks you can so tell he's active he is for his age he's still very active he still likes to play but then when he's like tired oh he was clonked out on the sofa over <laughs> well there. even when he was laying out there you could see yeah. that he'd like to do that all afternoon if he could yep of so, course, he's all yeah. curious because we're in studio right now. Yes, he's very curious, but he's such a good boy. Oh, I love it. So if people are interested in Rocky, uh, he's ready to go. They can come on in. Ready to go. Just come in, uh, meet him. We'll talk about him and make sure that, you know, he's your the right fit for your lifestyle. And you could take him home today. I love him. So. He deserves a home. Look at that. Already making He's, himself here at home at Channel 3. Maybe you want. Yeah. <laughs> we got one at home. I think one's enough for us. Lisa, thank you so much. What do you think, Rocky? Let's get you a home, huh, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, you are invited to the best tailgate in town at Dane County Humane Society's Bark and Wine on Saturday, September 21st. This year's event celebrates the oldest rivalry around. Team Cat versus Team Dog, of course. You can cheer on your team while meeting adorable puppy and kitten greeters, enjoying tasty beverages and tailgating snacks and celebrating the sex success stories at DCHS. You can learn more and reserve your spot at giveshelter.org slash BW. And some good news this afternoon. Last week's pets, puppies, Donita and Davio, have have been adopted. We'd love to hear that as well. So now it's Rocky's turn. If you're interested in adopting Rocky or checking out the other animals at Dane County Humane Society, just go to giveshelter.org. Perfect day to get out for a little dog walk. Kelly Slifka with the first warrant forecast. Yeah, you know, it's actually kind of cool when we think of this time of July, but uh, temperatures only in the lower 70s at this hour, so only probably going to get into the mid-70s today. We don't have as much wind as we had yesterday. Those wind gusts yesterday were above 25 miles per hour. Expecting that wind maybe up to about 10 miles per hour, but kind of a chilly day, and if you are headed out after dark tonight, definitely need the uh, sweatshirt as we drop down to 56 waking up tomorrow morning up to 79 as we slowly crank up the temperatures a little bit tomorrow afternoon. Still quite a bit of sunshine going into the weekend. As we get into Sunday, we're going to see a little bit more instability. Some late day showers and storms. The chances are only about 30%, so don't cancel your plans. Just have to keep an eye to the sky. That'll be the case much of next week. Nothing will organize, but we will have these daily afternoon and evening shower and thunderstorm chances with highs generally into the low <laughs> 80s next week. <laughs> Rocky likes the forecast, Kelly. This is a barking forecast. Yes, it is. Thanks for joining us. Have a great afternoon. Need help?